Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions for SAP security roles, along with detailed answers. 1. What is SAP security, and why is it important for organizations using SAP systems? Answer. SAP security involves protecting SAP systems from unauthorized access, ensuring data integrity, and maintaining compliance. It is crucial to safeguard sensitive business information and prevent security breaches. 2. Can you explain the three pillars of SAP security? Authentication, authorization, and auditing. Answer. Authentication verifies the identity of users. Authorization controls access to specific functionalities. And auditing monitors and logs user activities for accountability and compliance. 3. What are the different types of authentication mechanisms supported by SAP systems? Answer. SAP supports various authentication methods, including SAP GUI, Password, X509 certificates, SAML, and single sign-on SSO solutions like Kerberos. 4. How is user management handled in SAP security, and what are user types in SAP? Answer. User management involves create, modifying, and deleting user accounts. User types include dialogue users interactive, system users background tasks, and service users office communications. 5. Explain the role of SAP Profile Generator 5th in SAP Security. Answer. 5th is used to create and manage roles in SAP, defining sets of authorizations for users. It simplifies the assignment of authorizations to users based on their roles. 6. What is SAP? Single sign-on SSO, and how does it enhance security? Answer. SSO allows users to access multiple SAP systems or applications with a single login. It enhances security by reducing the number of passwords users need to remember, minimizing the risk of password-related security issues. 7. How does SAP GERC governance, risk, and compliance contribute to SAP security? Answer. SAP GERC enables organizations to manage risks, enforce compliance policies, and monitor user activities. It provides tools for access control, risk analysis, and continuous monitoring. 8. Explain the difference between authorization object and authorization field in SAP security. Answer, an authorization object groups related fields, and an authorization field is a specific parameter within an object. Together, they define the access rights for a user. 9. What is the SAP security audit log, and why is it essential? Answer, the SAP security audit log records security relevant system activities. It is essential for monitoring and investigating security incidents, ensuring accountability, and meeting compliance requirements. 10. How can you restrict access to critical transactions in SAP? Answer. Access to critical transactions can be restricted by assigning specific authorizations to users through roles. The use of authorization objects and fields helps define fine-grained access controls. 11. Discuss the concept of segregation of duties sought in SAP security. Answer. SOD ensures that no single user or role has conflicting authorizations that could lead to fraud or errors. It prevents users from having access to both create and approve functions, for example. 12. What is the role of SAP security in protecting sensitive data during transport and storage? Answer. SAP security employs encryption techniques to protect sensitive data during transport. Using protocols like HS and secure storage. Using methods like data encryption and secure storage areas. 13. Explain the process of user provisioning and deprovisioning in SAP security. Answer. User provisioning involves granting necessary authorizations to users based on their roles. And deprovisioning involves revoking access when users no longer require it, ensuring timely removal of access. 14. How does SAP Security handle authorization checks in ABAP programs? Answer. SAP Security uses authorization checks in ABAP programs to ensure that users have the necessary permissions to execute specific actions or access particular data. 
This is achieved through coding and the use of authority check statements. 15. What are critical authorizations, and why is it important to monitor them? Answer. Critical authorizations provide users with extensive access rights. Monitoring them is crucial to identify potential security risks and ensure that only authorized personnel have such broad access. 16. How can you enhance security for Office Remote Function Call Communications in SAP? Answer. Security for Office Communications can be enhanced by configuring secure communication channels, using secure protocols, and implementing encryption methods to protect data in transit. 17. Discuss the concept of role mining in SAP security. Answer. Role mining involves analyzing user activities and business processes to identify and create roles that align with job functions. It helps in optimizing role assignments and ensuring least privilege access. 18. How does SAP security support secure communication between SAP systems and external components? Answer. Secure communication is facilitated by implementing technologies like Secure Network Communication CSE and configuring Secure Sockets Layer SSL for encrypted connections. 19. What is the purpose of SAP Security Parameter ID and how is it used? Answer. SAP Security Parameter IDs are used to control system behavior. They are often used in authorization checks to restrict access based on specific parameter values. 20. Explain the concept of security tracing in SAP security. Answer. Security tracing involves monitoring and logging security-relevant activities in SAP systems. It helps in analyzing user actions, identifying potential security issues, and ensuring compliance. 21. How can you ensure secure communication between SAP GI and SAP systems? Answer. Secure communication is achieved by configuring Secure Network Communication CSE or using Secure Socket Layer SSL for encrypting data exchanged between SAP GI and SAP systems. 22. Discuss the role of SAP security in managing emergency user access. Answer. Emergency user access is managed through the Emergency Access Management EAM process, allowing temporary access to users for critical operations with proper documentation and approvals. 23. What are the challenges in SAP security when integrating with third-party applications? Answer. Challenges may include ensuring consistent user access across systems addressing differences in authentication mechanisms, and managing authorizations for integrated functionalities. 24. How does SAP security handle vulnerabilities and patch management? Answer. SAP regularly releases security patches to address vulnerabilities. SAP security administrators need to stay informed about the latest patches and implement them in a timely manner. 25. Explain the significance of SAP security in the context of data privacy regulations like GDPR. Answer. SAP security ensures compliance with data privacy regulations by controlling access to personal data, logging user activities, and implementing measures to protect sensitive information. 26. How can you monitor and analyze user activities in SAP security? Answer. Monitoring and analysis are done through tools like the Security Audit Log, SAP Solution Manager, and third-party SIEM Security Information and Event Management Systems. 27. Discuss the role of SAP security in managing authorizations for sensitive tables and fields. Answer. SAP security administrators define authorizations for sensitive tables and fields using authorization objects ensuring that only authorized users can access or modify critical data. 28. What is the purpose of SAP security roles and profiles, and how are they created and maintained? Answer. Roles and profiles in SAP security are used to bundle authorizations for specific job functions. They are created and maintained using tools like Profile Generator 5th and Role Maintenance so a one 29. How does SAP security handle security incident response and forensic analysis? Answer. 
SAP security administrators follow incident response procedures, conduct forensic analysis using logs, and collaborate with other IT security teams to investigate and mitigate security incidents. 30. Can you discuss the role of SAP security in managing access to SAP Fiori applications? Answer. SAP security ensures secure access to Fiori applications by configuring roles and authorizations. Implementing secure communication and monitoring user activities in the Fiori Launchpad. These questions and detailed answers aim to provide a comprehensive understanding of SAP security for candidates preparing for interviews. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.